In this video, we're going to talk about how to create Dune dashboards with absolutely zero coding skills. This is pretty amazing and this was shared by Deeps DeFi on Twitter and I'm going to follow his tutorial. But basic idea is even though uh, ChatGPT doesn't know the specific version of SQL used by Dune, you can actually provide examples and based on these examples, it can deduce how to use it in different contexts because what ChatGPT is very good at is switching the context while you give it some previous work. And this is what happens here. So let's get started. And as you can see, it feels illegal to share this because this is such a good tip, especially that if you want to know more statistics, you've probably seen that Dune dashboards are the best way to do that. So let's go and see how it works. So this is what Deeps writes. Many believe that ChatGPT cannot code Dune SQL because it does not have access to Dune data. But as I've mentioned, it's all the matter of giving some context. So giving more context to ChatGPT is basically uh, copying some previous code. So in this example, what he actually does is that because uh, Dune da uh, dashboard is open source, you can copy a dashboard. Here he does, uh, he copied the dashboard from DeFi Mochi, one of the well-known uh, Dune wizards and crypto analysts, and he copies that code into ChatGPT uh, and he writes at the beginning, I'm going to teach you uh, how to use Dune dashboard. And you can see that, uh, so uh, this is the, uh, the the response from ChatGPT. Of course, you have to use GPT-4 for that, which has more context understanding, can take more data, uh, but ChatGPT basically is able to explain what this code does. And this is pretty crazy. Uh, it understands that just from providing the code. So this is super cool. You can see all the functions. Uh, and this was a pretty sophisticated call, uh, uh, code uh, about LSD5, Dune dashboard, and it understands everything perfectly. So once you have it, uh, you can go to Dune and you want to find the table with data you want to use for your dashboard and copy the column names from that table. So for example, uh, here he chooses Dex traits uh, that he wants to use. Uh, you can use a bunch of other things as well, uh, but basically uh, he just right now highlights everything to copy the name of the tables and he will provide that to ChatGPT. Uh, then with ChatGPT, you will be able to basically ask for a specific thing. So he goes back, he writes, here are the column names for a table that I will ask you to query title Dex traits and uh, Basically, this is uh, this is going to be it. Uh, ChatGPT then uh, gives a response parsing the, the data uh, and will be able to ask for specific things. Uh, he also gives the information, so this is the cool thing. He also gives you the information what can be asked for. Now, uh, after, uh, after doing that, you can see that basically the prompt structure is suggested here is um, I ask for a table showing the amount of R purchased each day over the past 14 days. Uh, so uh, example of the of the prompt is with the same syntax as the Dune SQL above, use the column names from Dex trade. So this is the provided thing to write a query in Trino Dune SQL for the total value of the token bought on each day in USD. This query is subject to the following condition, the token address, the time frames between now and 14 days prior, unless specified, do not add single quotes to our user entities. So this is basically the address of the token of the ARP token, uh, and then this is the time frame, and basically this is it. And this is where the magic happens because you basically get the code. So this is basically what he has written, as written above. Um, and basically asks the chat GPT to provide the answer. And it really happens here that, that, that with the magic and the, the cool stuff here is that you introduce chat GPT first to this new language, to this specific version of SQL. And it understands the context so it can give you the same, uh, the same code here. And this is basically what it got. Uh, now you can use that code, copy that, uh, as you can see, you can highlight that or just click in the top right corner here, copy code uh, on um, uh, in ChatGPT. And you can go basically directly then to uh, Dune dashboard. So uh, after co copying, you can go to Dune dashboard, copy that, uh, and basically use that in your own, uh, in your own dashboard uh, and make it run. Basically, uh, this is it. And you can already, after some running, you basically will be able to see the results and for example, see everything running smoothly, uh, especially if you're asking for like the basic things. You can already see that uh, th this query is working without any problems and there were no errors at all. So 
You can ask for different things, uh, make query for two tables at once, uh, asking for different things. So again, uh, this can get much more complicated. You can ask for different things as well. Uh, and this is what, uh, what you, you can create. So with zero experience, you can actually go coding. And this is true with ChatGPT, not only with Dune dashboard, but also with other stuff that you can use. Uh, ChatGPT is really amazing and you can provide the context also in the context of like new blockchains, creating new applications on new EVMs or maybe even not EVMs, but for example, you want to create something on uh, say Solana or Aptos and you, don't know the language, but maybe you know Solidity. And for example, ChatGPT can help you transfer it from one language to the other uh, to a certain extent if you provide the context of different uh, uh, of uh, different things here. So here again, he 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 wanted to do a more complicated stuff, run the code, and basically got the results without any problem here. So this is this is truly amazing here. Got even more complicated table. So basically, this is it. Uh, if something doesn't run perfectly, you can always try to fix query button on Dune, go back to step one, provide more examples uh, and ask for how to do it better. Really amazing. And this is really the power of GPT here, uh, especially in the context of crypto and doing this, this, this kind of stuff. It really feels amazing. And I think like everyone should try it, especially if you have access to the premium of ChatGPT, then asking for specific things on, uh, on, on the blockchain is really amazing. So thank you for watching. Of course, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.